Hey guys, it's May May, and were you here for the live show when we did these crazy little reindeer? If not, you need to check out that video, but today we're turning these into something else. Let's get started. So what I love about this project is it's a scrap buster. We're gonna do the reindeer technique, but we're gonna make them snowmen, I hope. I've not tried it, we're gonna try it together. So I'm going to be cutting out some cardstock strips in the white, just several, and I want them to be different sizes. So I'm gonna start with that, and, and I'm just playing. I don't really know um, what sizes I'm doing. I'm just gonna make them thin and then wider as I go. So we've got that one, let's do another one. Let's see what we look like. And I'll tell you something that's really cool with these guys. If you work in eights, you kinda get a better look instead of like halves, solid quarters, and um, and holes, they look really good, like that seven eights. I don't know why, they just look better that way. I think, let me do a smaller one and I'll show you what I mean. I'm gonna do this one at three eights. So we'll add a little bit more. I don't know if we can even get that guy done because we're gonna put faces on them too. Let me give myself a couple more in case I mess some up. But see how we're just taking this this scrap that I literally got out of, out of bin, my scrap bin, and I'm gonna turn it in to the focal point of a card. Now what I'm gonna do is make hats, right? So I want to have little hats for each one of these guys, and I need to make them fit the sizes that I've got here. So here's what I'm going to do. I tried to lay them like this so I can keep up. So this one is 3 8 so I need a black piece that's 3 8 and again, I'm not going to need this whole strip, but this did come out of bin, and if I want to make more from it, I can. Then this one was, I don't remember, <laughs> I think 5 8 uh, yep, five eighths. So I need two pieces of that because both of these guys are five eighths. So what I'll do is just cut one and use this strip to do both. That'll be plenty. Then this one was three quarters. I did that one even. I remember doing that. And then the last one was seven eighths. Now, like I said, I'm cutting full pieces. You don't have to. You could just cut little squares, but I'm going to do it this way. All right. I've not done this before, so I got to see how tall I want their little hats to be. I'm thinking maybe three fourths of an inch. Let me see what that looks like, because I'm also going to put a brim. So we do have that room as well, and this will be hard to see here on my work surface, but see that little hat? Maybe even longer. Let's see what it looks like in 7 8 The hat might need to be as tall as the strip is wide. I think they all need to be the same height, though. Yeah, I'm going to leave both of those and see which one I want to use. Now let's do this guy. Let's see what he looks like in 7 8 It might be too tall. But you can always adjust the height of the hat down onto the snowman body, too. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna do them all about like that. And if I wanna change them, I can. Um, so let's keep going here. Now for their little hat bands, I'm gonna do all of these at a quarter of an inch. So I'm gonna cut a couple strips because I think I'll need that for them. And then when we build our snowmen, I'll cut them off to size then. I'll show you what I mean. All right, so let's pull these guys over and get them ready to assemble. For the next part, I'm gonna do their faces using our stamp set that's called Snowmies. I think this will be so cute. I think I'm even gonna use this sentiment for it too. So there's five different little faces on here and I've loaded them onto blocks. So what I wanna do really quick is see what's gonna fit my thinnest snowman. I think it's this guy. I think I can get him mostly on there so he'll work. And then I'm just gonna stamp faces all the way down our little snow bodies. Something I realized I wanna point out is you need to move it down a little bit so you have room to put the hat. This one, when I stamped it first, I got it way too close to the top, so I just flipped him over and did it down like that. So look at their little faces. I think this is gonna be cute. I don't know, you can be the judge. We just got this paper pack in from Lawn Fawn, and I think this is gonna be the perfect snowy background. I actually think any of these will work, except maybe yellow. But anyway, um, let's see what we can find. I wanted to kind of play around with these guys on the background. Here it is on pink. Do you see, let me slide these over. Do you see how this kind of looks like snow? And it'll kind of do the hard work for you, especially these, right? Let's go to a blue. I think you, look, I think you could do it with green. I just think it would work any old way, but look at the blue. That one's pretty. And then let's look at this one. This is the one I was kind of thinking would look very snowy. Isn't that cute? Um, I'm going to check all the colors, though. I want to make sure I get a good choice. Yep, I'm going to go with this guy. I'm going to go with this. And we can always add to it if we want to, but I think that'll look really cute. I think you'll get the point. Now for the fun part, let's build these guys. Let's put their hats on. So what I'm going to do is put some glue at the top, just like that, and then get the hat that coordinates with him. 
and I think you can even angle them, but honestly, if you go straight with the hat and then angle the brim, it might be just as cute. We'll see, I kinda like that like that. And let's go ahead and get a brim. And this is what I, this is what I was saying, is we could cut these down as we go. So like if I run some glue here along the bottom, then I put the little hat brim on, I can decide how big, um, how you know wide or how thin I want it. Something like that. And let's get our little scissors. And I'm just gonna try to eyeball it the same on both sides. Again, I'm eyeballing, see that? Now I got a little bit of that white show and I am gonna snip that away because if I don't, I think it'll show through on the back, but not a big deal. Pretty close, look at this little guy. This might be cute, y'all. It might be cute. I don't know, what you thinking so far? All right, it's kind of like the reindeer. You guys, in the live show, you did not believe me those were gonna turn into reindeer, but they did, and I think they're super, super cute. There's that one. I'm gonna snip what hangs off before I put that down. All right, back to the brim. So we're just gonna keep doing this on all our snowmen. So let's bring these guys over to our little um, card background. This is a four by five and a quarter because I'm just gonna do an A2 card with them. And look, now I'm just gonna start placing them here all the way around and see where I want them to live. There's one. And they can go in any direction, you know. It's, it's kind of like they're just looking at you. And I think they're cute. And five may be too many. I might need to adjust this guy. Put a thicker one up here. And put one down here. And let's see if I can get him in. I really, I like to do them in odd numbers. Like we can always sneak him down here. Like he's just looking at you. How funny. I've thought about putting little scarves on them, but I don't know that I have the room. But you could always tie a little string or something, especially if you're only gonna do three. If you wanted to add a little color, I think that would be really cute. I played around, around with the placement and I think I like that. So I'm gonna glue these guys down where they are. So just picking them up one at a time. And trust me, when we glue, when we trim off the sides is when this will really work. It's kind of funny how when you're first looking at it, you're like, this is not working. These just look like a bunch of sticks and nothing else. But just watch what'll happen. Now to me, this is where the magic happens. Let's flip this over and everything that hangs off, look at our little snowman face looking at us. Can you see that? There he is. Everything that hangs off, we're gonna trim away. Got that one and this one, we're gonna go all the way around, snipping the overhang. You guys, look how cute. Seriously, that's when it starts to show up. Let's add some decoration breaking in here to ask you to hit that red subscribe button. It's free. Also hit the bell button beside it. You can help me reach my big goal this year of 400,000 subscribers. Okay, back to crafting. All right, I've got a little marker. This is spiced orange. I'm going to color their noses. Now you will have noticed that I stamped them with Versafine and it's the Onyx Black. And you know, if you've watched me any length of time, that that is not the one you want to use for alcohol markering. So what I'm doing is very carefully laying the color into the center and trying not to rub across the ink so it doesn't kind of bleed. Typically this works in these smaller places, but if you're using an image that's got a lot of lines, you don't want to mix the Versafine with the alcohol because it's a pigment ink. You want to dye ink with your alcohol markers. So I'm just going to tap in this color. This is really bringing them to life, isn't it? Anytime you add color to these guys, they will really start to pop. So there's that, and you know I'm not done. Let's see about putting a little um, something on their hats. So let me tell you what I'm gonna do. I got some of my Nouveau drops, some green and some red, and I got my white pen. We're just gonna see what we can do. We're gonna try to play. I think I'm gonna try to do some leaves. Let me get a scrap piece and see what this looks like. So I went to my stash and I got some Nouveau glitter, I got some red, and I think what we're gonna do is kind of make our own little holly berries on his hat. This is a piece of Scotty backer that I had in the trash and I just got it out to practice with. I'm gonna kind of run this kind of long like that and just try to get the look of a couple of little holly bear, I mean um, leaves on his hat. So on each one, I think I'll do this one up here. I'm just gonna squirt that out kind of, just two of them. And like I said, kind of long there and there. That's cute, right? That's really cute. I like how that looks. I'll do one here. And I'm doing them kind of thick because I want them to show up. And this will dry dimensional. Um, and the best part about that is it'll stay dimensional in your cards when you're mailing these. Do that one there. Let's do one here. Just as you pull out of there, when you press it and then pull, you'll get kind of that little tail and that's kind of what you want. 
That is cute. Let's put some little red dots. So for the red, I'm gonna use this new one that is called Dream Drops. And I'm just putting maybe three or maybe just one. I did three on the big guy, but I think just one little berry looks pretty good. On um, Maybe two here since he's a little bit larger. I don't know that you can really see all the dimension very well. They kinda blend together a bit. But there we go. Then with their little, oh, that is cute. I'm sorry, that is very, very cute. Let's see what happens if we add a little white. Remember, let me mess it up so you don't have to, right? I'm gonna come up to the top of their hat and just kind of color down a little bit of snow here and there. I don't really wanna do too much. You could use your snow rider if you wanted to or your little puffy pen or whatever, but I don't really want too much. I just want a little bit. I want this to kind of feel like it's maybe just flurrying. They're not totally covered in snow, just a little bit here and there. Y'all, I think those guys look super cute. Okay, I'm gonna let this sit aside and dry a little bit while I get the card base ready for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and score this. I think I'm gonna um, stamp on it. Let me show you what I'm thinking. I'm gonna score it at five and a quarter, and then I'm gonna go back to my stamp set before I fold it. I'm not exactly sure if I'm gonna fold it first or not. I'm gonna go back to my stamp set. So inside of the stamp set, I wanna stamp the sentiment that says, chilling with my snowmies. I think that'll be cute. Let me grab my ink right here. And I'm going to ink it up with just Versafine Onyx Black. That'll be perfect for this. So somewhere in the center, let's try to get it like this. Cute, cute. And now from the same stamp set, there's all these little snowflakes. I'm just gonna kind of go around and stamp them. Just kind of willy nilly in the card, but I'm still gonna leave myself room to write because I think this will be a cute little place here to kind of sign your name underneath or give a little sentiment like hope you're chilling this winter or hope you find some time to chill, something like that. I think that'll be cute. Then I think this would be cute to have this little hat up here, kind of on an angle. Let me try it. If it's not cute, you don't have to do it, but I think this will be so cute right above chilling. Trying to do that without getting my head in the camera. See, that's cute, right? I like that. And then we have one more thing I think it'll be cute. I'm gonna slide this up so you can see. It's this little birdie. I'm gonna put this little guy right down here, just kind of as a little little Easter egg. You know how you just hide something in the scene? That little birdie is so cute. And there's still plenty of room to write, and don't forget you can write you know, at the top or even on the back. So let me fold this and crease it. Now I got my little snowman cover and I'm gonna glue it down. I really should have done my um, Nouveau drops after that I got this glued down, but I got excited and got ahead of myself, so no big deal. Here's what we're gonna do, carefully glue this guy down to the front of our car, just very carefully avoiding the snowmen altogether so we don't get their little hats. But that is now down and there's the front of our card. And then when you open it up on the inside, you've got chilling with my snowmies. Isn't that cute? This is really cute. Do you see the little snow? I love how this turned out. Again, you could get very creative and add little bows or things for their neck or whatever you'd like to for their little scarves. You can really have fun. But that's another scrap buster idea. Um, if you have a lot of scraps, I have a lot of white and black scraps because I use that a lot in my crafting. So this is a good way to do it. Now let me show you. Let's see how they look. They're pretty cute, right? You know we gotta do Santa. Is Santa next? I don't know. Let's see if we can do it. I hope you guys enjoy this one. Please, please, please flood social media so I can see these. So if you're making any of these guys, I wanna see it. So put them out on social media. You can tag me at Maymay Made It on any social media. You can go to our customer gallery and share them or you can head to our Facebook group called May May Made It and So Did I and you can share them there and get other inspiration. Hey, thanks so much for being here today and until next time, bye now.